So, yeah. But, um, surprisingly, there are some changes. After I'm done with the last 10 episodes of God's Ultimate Journey, surprisingly, God's on Nick Elsa will go first. Yeah, it's kind of changing up on who goes first now. As you guys can probably tell on my old, well, well, not old, on how I used to do my YouTube series. I did it by, for starters, I did it with, obviously, God's Ultimate Journey, Wrath and Terror of Evil Super Godzilla Final Wars, then I think my movie review series, and then I did the other series, like Super Godzilla Final Wars and Mixa, War of the Monsters, and, um, what, what else, what else, uh, I think there was something, else. oh yeah, my, my Freaking Ask and Dare, the Godzilla Family series remake, and of course, my Hake Elsa, my Godzilla and Hake Elsa, I almost said Hake Elsa and Godzilla, so I, got, I was like, oh crap. No, 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 not that. That's Astrid's old version. See, like, there's a big difference between Astrid's old version and my version. His version is main focus on Hiccup and Elsa. My version is just focused on the G-Man. And how can I not have the main focus of the series be focused on the G-Man? What's well, my favorite giant monster? How can I not make him the main focus? But yeah, um, my version of Godzilla and Hank Elsa will go first after Godzilla Ultimate's journey. Reason why is because, well, honestly, it's kind of my choice. Wait, for starters. Lastly, is because of, well, I kind of want to keep the story going. I don't want it just to be the, the first ten episodes that you guys currently do have, so, yeah. Oh, and just to keep in mind, for those who are curious, about what's the difference between my version and Astrid's version? Well, the difference between my version and Astrid's version, and and I did got a drink, so yeah. But the difference is, well, for starters. I kind of have more like a character limit on how many characters I'm going to add in the series. It's for starters. Like, my version is just Godzilla, How to Train a Dragon, Frozen, and, of course, it's not complaining, but there's also some dinosaurs there, but they're dinosaurs. I have to add some wildlife in there somehow. Plus, I don't really have a whole lot of How to Train Dragon figures anyways. I got, like, a couple, but not a whole lot. So, yeah. But it doesn't mean I won't add, like, one or maybe two... Jurassic World dinosaurs in there. And I'm not telling you who they are. I'm keeping it as a secret. But Astrozilla, on the other hand, Astrozilla, he just like somehow, to, he just, he, he freaking like, like he just can't with this guy. This guy, he goes crazy. He may, he just puts a buttload of more, he just puts more and more characters in the freaking series. I don't have anything against it, but I don't have nothing against it, like this series, so, yeah.
but the thing is, the freaking thing is, he has more than just one character. He has he has like twenty characters, and they're mainly and they're just most and the majority of those characters are those who give me me bad flashbacks to my childhood. I'm talking about the freaking Garfield and Thomas the Train. I can never forgive you, Garfield and Thomas. You hear me? I will not forget you. I will never forgive you. And of course, that one. Uh, I have nothing against Ice Age. I love Ice Age. <laughs> and of course, the fact that frickin' Astrodoil likes to frickin' change the relationship of Godzilla. Like, first there was Godzilla and Astra, then it was Cassandra, then it was back to Godzilla and Astra, then it was back to Cassandra during Godzilla, and then it was Brooklyn, and then back to Cassandra, and then oh my god! Wait, did I say then back to Cassandra? No, I got that messed up. Then it was back to freaking Godzilla and Astro. There, that's more better. That's more like it. But don't worry, Astro and I have already figured that out and how we're going to solve the problem. But we're not telling you. It's a secret. You have to wait. Plus, it's a good thing, too, that me and now are taking a two-week break on the Rebellion. Like, good lord. Like, I freaking helped him with story, with his stories back in the past. But I never expected... the rebellion to be like... 400 parts! I don't have nothing against him, and I'm not complaining. Cause, like, go... go to his channel and watch, cause... The first ten parts, they are long. They are very long, especially episode ten. I did not expect it that episode ten will be the longest. Yeah, I can tell that there's not gonna be a full version of the series. That would take way too long. So. And another thing, thing, my freaking hiccup and the others are not so stupid to go inside and fight a freaking three-headed golden demon. And act like they're gonna do some damage, like freaking, seriously, man. Like, they know where, when to stay out of God's own oh, fight. And plus, I'm still kind of questioning on how the hell... Can Tupus' Plasma Blast do damage to frickin' King Ghidorah? The same thing goes to Elsa. How can her ice powers do damage to King Ghidorah? Like, he's been frozen for, like, thousands of years in Antarctica, in Antarctica, in God's King of the Monsters. So how can ice really hurt King Ghidorah? That's my big question, Astrozilla. Like, how can Hiccup and his friends do damage to King Ghidorah when they're smaller than him? Now, I'm pretty sure you can see why my King Ghidorah likes to make fun of your King Ghidorah. Because he's so freaking weak. The same thing goes to... Goes to freaking your, my Godzilla making fun of your Godzilla because he just, like, depends on his friends. Like, your Hiccup and Elsa and their friends to save if you're Godzilla. My Godzilla, on the other hand, he kind of doesn't really depend on them actually that much. It's like, the, he's ma his main concern is just to keep them out of harm's way. That's his main concern. So, yeah. But still, ask Godzilla, please. 
For the love of God, can you please answer this question? How can toothless <coughs> Sorry. Thou can toothless and Elsa and any other character in your series do damage to King Ghidorah? I need to know how can they do damage to him? Like, literally, how can they do damage to him? The same thing goes to GMK Godzilla. And I'm merely looking back at the freaking Godzilla and Astray Love Stories Season 1. But still. Anyways, enough with my Godzilla my version of Godzilla and Hank Elsa and moving on.